Graduation marks the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. And while I know many of you think I'm going to continue on with this cliche statement, I'm going to ask you to remember this number instead. 1,128. We have spent 1,128 days at Bishop Mac over the last four years. That is approximately 27,072 hours waiting, and in some cases praying, that this graduation day would come sooner. And yet, now that it is finally approaching, we realize that a number in no way can accurately measure the memories these past four years have given us. My fellow Celtics, it would be a privilege to be chosen as our graduating class valedictorian. And while I know it is hard to choose somebody to speak on behalf of the entire senior class, I think I would be well suited to at least try. I have been involved at Bishop Mack since the beginning, whether that be through sports teams or student council, and with those activities, I have been able to share many memorable moments throughout these years with you. My ultimate goal is to express our high school experience through a speech that is meant to reflect on the best parts of these past years, while also giving some food for thought towards our future. I hope that you believe I am most suitable for this position, as I will try my best to represent each and every one of us. Thank you for considering me. I think we can all remember our first day of high school. The girls with the kilts and the makeup, and the guys who looked somewhat groomed that day, which I think we can all agree doesn't happen very often. We were all afraid of messing up that day, or that to be going to the wrong classroom, sitting at the wrong cafeteria table, or getting on the teacher's bad side. These are just some simple examples of messing up in high school, but there are many more personal situations that everyone can agree on. Heck, I've fallen down the stairs at least three times this past school year alone. Or when someone put tin foil in the microwave and blew the whole thing up, I think we all know who I'm talking about. Although every person here has messed up at least once, I can proudly say that our friends in this class has been there to laugh at our small mistakes, but have pulled through to help us when we truly need the help. Which is why I can honestly say, through thick or thin, whether you're friends or enemies, this graduating class puts our differences aside to help the better of our community. We have messed up frequently, but in the end, we have learned from our mistakes and become better people because of it. Now, why should you vote me to be your valedictorian? These past four years of our lives have been filled with memories, good times, and great friends. I am lucky enough to call each and every graduate of the Bishop McDonnell graduating class of 2016 a great group of people. Although I may not be super close with every single one of you here, but I can name at least one positive thing for each of you. With being a part of many clubs, sports teams, and groups, I consider myself a leader, a leader that can talk on behalf of this graduating class. We have been through thick or thin for, through our four-year adventure, and I can and will recap everyone's experience through high school in my speech if I am lucky enough to be your valedictorian. I would, it would be an honor to, be, to talk on behalf of the Bishop McDonnell's graduating class of 2016. Thank you. Dear faculty and students, Graduation is a time of reminiscence and reflection upon the past. It is also a time of anticipation for the future. It is a time to look back at the nights spent with your best friends, the long days spent with teachers and classmates, and the countless hours working on homework. These last four years have been filled with numerous ups and downs that define who we are as people. At times, it may have felt demanding, staring at that pile of homework as if it were a white walker from the north. At others, we felt we were kings and queens, as we ascended the hierarchical ladder that defines high school. Our Catholic education has afforded us the privilege of weaving faith into our lives. The Nicaragua and Peru mission trips, the Catholic retreats, the pilgrimage walks were all ways to enrich our lives through faith. High school is many things for many people. For some, it is an experience of art and music to enrich our lives. For others, it is the challenge and rivalry of other schools to claim the D10 title. We can't forget the academics, the readers, the coders, the car fanatics, the social activists, and those just here for a good time. All of us have had a unique high school experience that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. We have created memories that we will hold on to forever. From the countless food fight attempts all the way to prom, these are the memories we will tell our children one day. And I would be honored to be the valedictorian that puts these memories into words. I've been an ambassador for Bishop McDonnell. From battling scorpions in Nicaragua to winning the offset title in Timmins, I have created memories of a great number of you, and it would be my honor to represent the graduating class of 2016 on graduation night. Thank you. At the start, high school seemed like it would last forever. Through good times and bad, we got through it together. We started out innocent, awkward, and scared, 
carried binders and pens, we were always prepared. Those were the days when we had motivation. Fast forward till now, it's just sleep deprivation. But not too far into the past am I going to delve? Let's be in the moment, because this is 12. I know some of you just want to get out of here, but if you look back, we've had a pretty great year. Hello, grade 12s of Bishop McDonnell. You just got to hear a small part of my speech, and as you may have noticed, it was a bit of a poem. I'm trying to change things up. As for the reasons you may want to vote for me as your valedictorian, I believe that I get along very well with all of you, and I've really enjoyed getting to know you these past four years. I would be honored to represent the graduating class of Bishop McDonnell. I consider myself a leader and to have a good relationship with each and every one of you. If you choose to vote for me as your valedictorian, I promise to sum up our high school experience in a way to, that is both memorable and creative. Plus, if you want to hear the rest of my poem, you'll have to vote for me. Thank you.